first question says the contents of each box can be found by adding the two boxes directly to the Find the missing expression. So let's begin with adding these two boxes, which is going to give us the x over here. Then I'm going to add these two boxes, which is going to give us Four x over here. I'm gonna add four x and three x. That gives us seven x. Share twelve hundred pounds in the ratio of two is to three. So what we're going to do is we're going to create fractions for both the quantities in the ratio. So for the first one, it's going to be two over the sum of two and three. And then we're going to multiply this fraction by the amount that we're going to share among these two quantities, which is 1200. So 2 over 5 times 1200 is going to give us 480 pounds. And for the other one, we could either subtract 480 from 1200, or we could do 3 over 5 times 1200, and that will give us 7. 20 pounds. Both ways are correct. In the next one, it says complete the table. So we have a column for the line of symmetry and the notation symmetry. They've given us four different types of shapes. They've already answered for rectangle. Rectangle does not have exactly one line of symmetry, but it has Next question says we have to write down which one of these shapes has exactly one line of symmetry and the rotation symmetry of order two. So if you look at a square, we can see that a square has more than one line of symmetry. It has four lines of symmetry. So no, it's not a square. If you look at a kite, We can see that a kite has exactly one line of symmetry. So yes. And for around this, we can see that two lines of symmetry. So only a kite has exactly the one line of symmetry. Now, talking about the rotation symmetry of order two, we can see that if you get a square that has a rotation symmetry of order four. Why? Because if we rotate the square, this is a 90 degree rotation. I'm taking this point. So, this point comes over here. This is a 90 degree rotation. Then we have another, we have four 90 degree rotations. We get a 360 rotation. So in each 90 degree rotation, you can see that the selected point After four 90 degree rotations, we can see that the shape maintains its original shape throughout the rotations, which means that the square has a rotational order symmetry of two. Now, if you look at a kite, and we pick this point. So when we rotate the kite 90 degrees, This is the first rotation. This is the second rotation. This is the third rotation. And lastly, this is the fourth rotation. So it goes back to its original shape only once throughout the 360 degree rotation, which means the guide has a rotation symmetry of order one. So that's also wrong. Now, talking about the rhombus, 
So I'm going to make the wrong list. I'm going to pick this pointer. So when we rotate this, this is the first rotation. This is the second rotation. That's verification. Last year, this is now four detection. So, as you can see, we need to get the original shape of the rhombus over here and here, which means twice. So, that shows that the rhombus has a rotation center of order two. The next question says, Thomas earns 1,300 pounds a month. He spends 30% of this money on rent and 12% on this. How much of the 1,300 pounds has he left? So we're going to find the quantity for rent. That's going to be 30% of his earning is going to give us 390 pounds. Then you find how much he pays for bills. It's going to be 12% of his earnings. And that is going to give us 156 pounds. So how much is left? We're going to subtract 390 and 156 from 1300 and that will give us 754 pounds the next question says calculate the area of this parallelogram so when you find the area of the parallelogram our focus is on the perpendicular height and the corresponding base so that's going to be 4 times 12 which is 48 centimeters squared Always remember we multiplied the perpendicular height of the base. So whichever side you're selecting as the base, see what's the height perpendicular to that.